Today we're going to be breaking down one of the best blitzes in Madden 24. It may just be the best blitz in Madden 24 right now. And we're going to show you how to run it against kind of the standard setup for the way a lot of people are running this defense. Now, if you want my full dollar three two defensive ebook, we actually just updated it in the Patreon with not only new blitzes, but also new coverages, including a really good red zone defense at a dollar. So if you want to check that out, the link's going to be in the description to become a Patreon member for just $10. You're going to get access to all of our Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, any updates to that stuff, everything you need to become a better Madden player. We've got over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks in this game. So make sure you're a Patreon member. If you're not, it's a great way to just stay on top of things. And it's only $10 uh, to become a member. So what we're going to be talking about today is the dollar three, two defense. What a lot of people don't know about this blitz that makes it super, super, super good. And we're going to show it with two different or two distinct plays in the dollar three, two formation. Both of those plays are going to have the middle linebacker blitzing, but only one of those is going to be kind of what we need. Now, in this uh, playbook, I think I'm in the multiple defense, um, multiple defense playbook. I think you can also find this in the four six. OK, so um, we're actually we can just show this out of cover two man and cover two press. So first things first, we'll show you the setup. So the meta way and the way this blitz works, all you're going to do, literally the only adjustment you have to do if you get this right, pinch your defensive line. And you're going to stand about right here with your user at the snap of the ball. You're going to run at the guard and essentially try to pull him to the bunch side of the formation. So you see right here, we'll kind of run at him and the blitz didn't come in that time. This blitz is not 100 percent by any means. Um, it is taking advantage of the reality of the movement system in Madden 24. Sometimes it can help to be baseline pressed. Um, just to get those slot corners down there so they can kind of distract the guards. That's more often what you're going to see, okay? Now, that is literally the entire setup, but you might want to do this from other plays. So let's say we want to do this from the cover two man. What you're going to notice is when we do this out of the cover two man, it's not always going to work. It's going to be a lot less consistent, and it has to do with the gap that the, the uh, linebacker is blitzing into. This is also why we want to run this with auto flip off, so that we can control which linebacker is blitzing in the formation. We always want to be blitzing off of that left linebacker. If you look at this blitz angle out of cover to man, you're going to see that he is blitzing into essentially the tackle and the guard. So because he is in the guards blitzing grid, then what's going to happen is he might come through the B gap. That's the best case scenario, but worst case scenario, he typically is going to get blocked. Another really underrated uh, thing that we want to point out is if you look at this blitz angle of the nose tackle, notice that this blitz angle of the nose tackle, the nose tackle is stunting either to the right or the left and will actually typically go to the left. And if the, if the nose tackle goes to the left at the snap of the ball, then it's not going to pull the center out of the A gap and therefore the blitz is not going to work as well. So let me go over one other uh, play within this. And um, I have cover two press model, so I'm actually going to come out and cover one robber. And we're going to show you, again, a slight difference. So if you look at cover one robber, you're going to notice that if you look at the nose tackle and you look at that blitz angle of the uh, linebacker, the linebacker blitz angle is going more into the A gap. So it's going to be splitting the guard and the, and the uh, center. And also the nose tackles blitz angle is slanting to the right side of the screen. It's not slanting into the left or the right. It's simply slanting to the right side of the screen. So you'll see this is going to have a much, much higher likelihood of being able to come in. Now, again, this blitz, we're only sitting four people at the quarterback. So it's not 100% that this blitz is always going to come in. But what you're banking on with this is not only are you going to get good sheds, but because you're only sitting four people, you're going to get really pretty good coverage. And a lot of times this blitz is going to come in, as you can see. This blitz is also really difficult to pick up with blocking a tight end. They're pretty much going to have to put their running back into their pass protection. And so whenever your opponent starts to do that, we can stop covering the running back entirely. And it allows us to gain extra people in coverage that we can then use to basically stop what they're going to do. So as you can see here, cover to cover to press. My personal recommendation when we did do this out of cover to press, it's the version that I have had the most success with. I think the version that most of the community um, has had most of the success with. And again, the biggest thing here when we're running this defense, we want to make sure that our user is going to run at this right guard, kind of pull him to the right. And as you can see, this is one of the glitchiest blitzes in Madden 24. To learn this entire defense, join the Patreon. It's only $10. It'll get you access to all of the eBooks, all of the updates, everything for just 10 bucks. 
and I guarantee it's going to make you a better Madden player. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.